Astronaut returns after 30 years missing. A shocking cosmic mystery stuns the world. Welcome to the 10 Minutes Discovery Channel. Dear viewers, in recent decades, the public has been abuzz with mysterious disappearances. Some believe these disappearances might have been caused by time anomalies, preventing victims from ever being found. Others suggest these vanishings were deliberate, like the case of an astronaut who disappeared for 30 years and then returned. This story is about John Smith, a man born in 1941 into a military family. As an adult, he enrolled at the U.S. Air Force Military Academy in 1960 and graduated with honors. From being a renowned and respected pilot, John aimed to become an astronaut, a goal that paid off. After completing astronaut training, he was assigned as a cleaner, responsible for clearing space debris, including rocket fragments, inactive satellites, and random debris in orbit, to create safe zones for space missions. This marked the beginning of a strange tale. The U.S. government was rumored to have run an anti-satellite program in the 1970s to monitor and potentially attack enemy spy satellites. Before that, in 1962, they launched Program 505, based at Kwajalein Missile Range between Hawaii and the Philippine Islands, using Nike Zeus anti-ballistic missiles to intercept satellites. This was followed by Program 437, which involved anti-satellite weapons using PGM-17 Thor ballistic missiles to target low-Earth orbit satellites, with command posts on Johnston, an isolated Pacific island. Both programs conducted high-altitude nuclear tests. Although these programs ended in 1975, anti-satellite technology continued. However, Smith's mission was slightly different. He was part of a plan designed as a space patrol force against enemy satellites. In this case, the idea was to establish a top-secret manned spacecraft network to detect, hunt down, and destroy enemy ballistic missiles and satellites. In October 1973, Smith was reportedly launched into space in a spacecraft disguised as a satellite to carry out his top-secret mission. Three days went by without any incidents, but then his craft entered an area with unusually high radiation and its maneuvering and navigation systems inexplicably failed, causing radio communication to be disrupted, making tracking impossible. NASA tried to rescue the stranded astronaut but failed, and eventually, all communication devices were completely shut off. Smith was lost in space. After this mysterious incident, NASA covered everything up, only stating that this failed mission was merely a training accident, with no mention of radiation or radio signal interference. Everything about the mission was classified. In the records of space tragedies, Smith was grouped with other missing astronauts and space mysteries. But in 2000, Smith's spacecraft was accidentally discovered when an amateur astronomer in the Fiji Islands observed an unusual object orbiting at 470 kilometers. He reported it to the authorities, and NASA believed it was Smith's spacecraft based on its orbit and shape. They then attempted to recover the craft, allowing it to descend into a stable, low orbit before retrieving it during the Endeavour shuttle mission in 2001. From here, the oddities began to unfold. Upon returning to Earth, the spacecraft was opened, shocking everyone present. Not only was Smith found inside, but he was still alive after nearly 30 years, though he was unconscious and in a confused state. Efforts were made to revive the astronaut, and medical tests soon revealed several abnormalities. First, although Smith's heart was now located on the common left side, prior to the flight, he had been one of the rare people with his heart on the right side. Furthermore, there were no signs of the rib fractures he had suffered as a child, and several large moles and scars on his body had disappeared. When Smith regained enough clarity to speak, he remembered nothing of what had happened and was unaware he had been missing in space for nearly 30 years. As authorities attempted to figure out what was going on, Smith suddenly disappeared from the secure facility where he was being held. No one knew how he could have escaped the security zone undetected, leaving no trace on surveillance cameras. It was as if he had simply vanished into thin air. The government stepped in, and the case was classified, with all details buried deep. This event seems only to have been mentioned on conspiracy theory websites and Reddit, with no official sources, and everything remains classified. The story ended in confusion, and the truth remains a mystery. It is very likely that this disappearance and reappearance belong to the realm of creepy internet legends created by imaginative minds. There are many other mysterious disappearances around the world, such as the mystery of 2,000 people vanishing from a village, 
or the frozen ship at the bottom of a lake for 130 years, which have all been explained. So, let's take a look back at these mysteries right now. The Disappearance of the City of Thynes The ancient Egyptian historian Manetho wrote that around 3100-3000 BCE, Upper Egypt was moving towards political unification. For the first time, the ancient Egyptians recorded their history using hieroglyphics and three small independent cities along the Nile River, Finis, Nihen, and Nakata, were competing for regional dominance. Finis' armies captured Nakata and continued their conquest of lands further down the Nile Valley. Manetho believed that Nakan may have voluntarily merged with Finis, leading to the first unification of Egypt under a single dynasty. According to Manetho, the last ruler of this dynasty, Narmer, also known as Menes, was the first pharaoh to govern the kingdom under divine supervision. As the state's power shifted to Memphis, Thinis gradually lost its significance. Archaeologists have found signs of Narmer in hieroglyphs and ancient writings, such as the Narmer Palette, which was first discovered by British archaeologists at the Temple of Horus in Nihen in 1897. The palette glorifies Narmer's military victories in Lower Egypt and the approval of the Egyptian gods. Unfortunately, no evidence of the city of Thinis has been found since. It is hoped that one day, the remains of one of the most important cities of ancient Egypt will be uncovered, along with its secrets and treasures. The Ship Under the Frozen Lake After 130 Years of Disappearance At long last, traces of the Atlanta ship, which disappeared 130 years ago, have been found at the bottom of Lake Superior. The Atlanta, being towed by the giant steamship Wilhelm and carrying tons of coal, sank during a storm on May 4, 1891. The storm caused the towing line to snap, the Atlanta's mast broke, and the ship went down. The crew at the time consisted of seven members. When the accident occurred, they all got into a lifeboat. However, as the lifeboat neared the shore, it unexpectedly capsized, and only two members survived and were brought to shore safely. Despite the survivors providing specific descriptions of the accident, search teams were unable to locate the wreck for many years. However, recently, after 130 years, the 52-meter-long shipwreck was discovered at a depth of 198 meters at the bottom of Lake Superior, about 56 kilometers from Deer Park, Michigan, USA. According to the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, search teams used side-scan sonar technology to map over 4,000 kilometers of Lake Superior's floor. Superior is the largest, deepest, and coldest of the Great Lakes, with water temperatures hovering around 4 degrees, 39 degrees. Photos of the shipwreck reveal that many parts of the vessel are well-preserved, including the wheel, ship's toilet, and mast. The nameplate of the Atlanta is still intact and clearly visible underwater. However, the origin of the ship's name remains unclear to this day. Bruce Lynn, executive director of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, stated that finding a shipwreck after hundreds of years of being lost is rare. The wreck was well-preserved due to the lake's cold depths. It rests there like a radiant sun. The ship was elaborately decorated and still beautiful after 130 years at the bottom of the lake. Due to the wreck's depth, divers have difficulty accessing it. Experts estimate that approximately 6,000 ships have sunk in the vast waters of the Great Lakes, including about 550 at the bottom of Lake Superior. However, most of these wrecks remain unexplored. The Mysterious Disappearance of 4,000 Spanish Soldiers Throughout history, many supernatural phenomena have baffled scientists, remaining unexplained to this day. One such event occurred hundreds of years ago when a Spanish army vanished without a trace overnight. Where did they go? Why did this happen? Who, if anyone, was behind it all? According to records, in the year 1711 AD, 4,000 Spanish soldiers were stationed in the Pyrenees Mountains, awaiting reinforcements. When the reinforcements arrived the next morning, the campfires were still burning. Some horses and cannons remained, but strangely, not a single soldier was in sight. The military sent search teams that scoured the area for months but found no trace of the missing soldiers, and the event was eventually recorded in Spanish military history. It's one thing for a single person to disappear without a trace, but for 4,000 soldiers to vanish without any explanation? At the time, some speculated that these soldiers were sacrificed, 
But after reviewing Spanish chronicles, researchers discovered that these men were merely temporary mercenaries. In 1946, a Spanish scholar named Anglada traveled to the Pyrenees to conduct field research on the mass disappearance of the soldiers over 200 years earlier. He learned from a veteran hunter named Calangris that someone had also vanished in the mountains in 1932. A passerby and Calangris met by chance, but shortly after they parted ways, Calangris heard terrifying screams. When the hunter rushed back, he found nothing. The passerby had vanished, though the screams continued from somewhere above. This frightened Calangris, and he hurried away. The next day, he found footprints left by the passerby. Following them for a short distance, he noticed that the prints abruptly stopped, as if the person had flown away, leaving no other traces behind. Calangris had also heard of the disappearance of Ramon, a villager he knew. Ramon disappeared near a barn. A group of soldiers not far away heard his desperate cries and rushed over. They could hear his voice but saw no sign of him. The screams seemed to come from above, gradually flying into the sky before finally falling silent. Ramon was never seen again. Despite his investigation, Anglada could not uncover the truth behind these mysterious disappearances in the desolate mountains. To this day, the disappearance of 4,000 Spanish soldiers remains unsolved. Was it an accident or could extraterrestrial involvement be at play? The mystery endures and the search for answers continues. A village of 2,000 people suddenly vanishes without a trace. If one person disappearing is troubling, imagine an entire village of around 2,000 people suddenly vanishing as if they never existed. In the winter of 1930, a hunter named Joe LaBelle ventured to an Eskimo village near Lake Anjakuni in northern Canada, seeking a place to rest. LaBelle was familiar with the village, which was home to a prosperous fishing community of around 2,000 people. Upon arrival, he was shocked to find the village completely deserted. The huts and storage buildings were empty, and all that remained was a smoldering fire under a blackened stew pot. Overwhelmed by fear, LaBelle reported the discovery to local authorities, and an investigation was launched. However, no clues were found. Soon, investigators discovered some strange and paradoxical findings. The Eskimo sled dogs were found buried under 12 meters of snow, and all of the villagers' food and supplies remained untouched in their huts. Even more astonishing, all the graves of the Eskimos' ancestors were empty, so where did the 2,000 villagers go? This mystery has left scientists baffled, as they have struggled to find a logical explanation. 600 people mysteriously disappear from a Brazilian village. One of the largest mass disappearances in history occurred in the village of Hoer Verde, Brazil, in 1923. To this day, the incident remains an unsolved mystery. Specifically, one day in February 1923, a group of travelers visited the village of Huer Verde. As they entered, they found no sign of the villagers. Some even reported that the eerie silence of Huer Verde left them feeling haunted. Strangely, all the villagers' belongings, including their food supplies, remained untouched. If they had relocated, they wouldn't have left these things behind. After the travelers discovered the odd situation, they quickly reported it to the authorities. This led to a large-scale investigation of the surrounding area. Police and investigators searched for clues to explain the disappearance of more than 600 villagers from Hoyer Verde. However, despite their efforts, they found no trace of the villagers. No one knew where they had gone or what disaster could have caused them to vanish from the earth. Several theories have since emerged. One suggests that the 600 people of Hora Verdi were abducted by a mysterious force after being attacked. However, no group or organization claimed responsibility, and there were no signs of a struggle at the scene, leading many to dismiss this theory. Another theory proposes that the villagers left of their own accord, yet no one knows where they went or why they left all their belongings behind. Decades later, investigators and experts continue searching for new leads to uncover the truth behind the mysterious disappearance of the 600 villagers from Hoer Verdi. The Mysterious Land, Where Visitors Disappear Barsa Kelmi's island, located in the Aral Sea in Central Asia, is notorious for its unsolved mysteries. The island is often referred to as the land of no return because those who set foot on it never seem to come back. 
Despite experts' efforts to solve the mystery, no answers have been found. First, the island's name itself has an enigmatic origin. The mystery deepened as stories emerged of people who ventured onto Barsakelma's island only to suddenly disappear. No one has ever seen these individuals return, and their fates remain unknown. Some theories suggest that those who vanish on Barsakelma's were victims of a giant lizard, said to be a creature from ancient times. In addition to the lizard, locals have also reported sightings of other strange creatures. At times, people have seen a bird-like creature with a massive wingspan flying around the island. On other occasions, a serpent-like creature has been spotted swimming in the waters surrounding the island. Aside from mysterious disappearances, Barsa Kelmes is also known for strange phenomena. Some visitors have reported that when they tried to approach the island, devices like compasses and clocks stopped working. Others claim they experienced odd shifts in the flow of time. Sometimes it seemed to speed up, while other times it slowed down, for no apparent reason. One theory suggests that the island might be a gateway to another dimension. Due to the tales of people vanishing on Barsa Kelm's island, locals avoid venturing into this dangerous land. The Flannan Isles and the Disappearance of the Lighthouse Keepers the Flannan Isles, located off the coast of Scotland, are famous for the mysterious disappearance of their lighthouse keepers. In 1900, a ship captain noticed that the lighthouse was not lit, so he sent someone to check. The three men responsible for the lighthouse had vanished under strange circumstances. Despite large-scale searches conducted by the authorities, no trace of the men was ever found. An entire tribe vanishes in a single day. The Anasazi tribe was one of the most complex civilizations in ancient North America. They may have lived around 1500 BCE in what is now Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. In the late 13th century, this native tribe suddenly abandoned their homes and disappeared. According to legend, their disappearance was simply them returning home. Additionally, spiral markings were found at old Anasazi ruins. Some believe these spirals represent gateways or portals to another dimension possibly explaining the tribe's mysterious disappearance. The Disappearance of Submarine INS Dakar Explained INS Dakar was a T-class diesel-electric submarine built by Devonport Dockyard for the Royal Navy. It entered service with the Royal Navy in 1943 as HMS Totem. In 1965, the Israeli Navy purchased the submarine and renamed it INS Dakar. After undergoing upgrades, the vessel departed from a shipyard in Scotland to conduct sea trials. After two months of successful trials, on January 9, 1968, the submarine set off for Israel with a crew of 69. On January 24, INS Dakar entered the Mediterranean Sea and was never seen again. On January 26, the Royal Navy reported that INS Dakar had gone missing. A massive international search involving the navies of Israel, the US, Greece, Turkey, the UK, and Lebanon turned up no trace of the submarine. However, in 1999, 31 years after the accident, a joint American-Israeli search team discovered a suspicious object at a depth of 3,000 meters between Crete and Cyprus. The object was confirmed to be the Dakar, which had exploded after sinking to a depth beyond the hull's tolerance. The exact cause of the accident remains a mystery. The disappearance of Dakar marked the beginning of a year filled with mysterious submarine accidents in 1968. The Lost Colony of Roanoke Now part of North Carolina, the site of Roanoke is one of the most mysterious places where a mass disappearance of European settlers occurred. The group had traveled to America to start a new life, but after running low on food and supplies, John White, the colony's leader, returned to England to gather resources. Years later, they sailed back to Roanoke, only to find everyone had vanished. All that remained was a single skeleton and the word Croatoan carved into a tree. No one knows what truly happened to the unfortunate settlers who disappeared from the colony. Many mysteries surround these strange disappearances. Some have been solved, while others remain unsolved. What do you think about these eerie mysteries? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on more intriguing discoveries. For now, goodbye and see you next time.